quickly destroy the Archaeotech engine. Nothing could be done hastily and prudently, Brother Barakia. So answers an apothecary.
quickly destroy the Archaeotech engine. Nothing could be done hastily and prudently from the Barricade. So answers an apothecary. Everybody, welcome back to Angry Badger Minis. Let's see here. Looks like I got to uh, change up my droid cam. Stand by one second. Hold on. Oh, I know why. Because of the damn update.
Yep. Oh, and it doesn't help that uh, I have things on the keyboard. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, apparently, that was not the one that we were looking for. I got screws everywhere. Hold on. We'll get it here. There we go. <sighs> Let's see. Oops, it might help if I activated it. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so what do we got going on here? We've got 70 freaking Rubik Marines. A couple of them can't fit in there, I guess. Um, so apologize for that, but that's okay. Uh, I am currently working on the, uh, the Soul Reaper cannons, um, getting those squared away, um, down below here. I'm lining up all the arms on the chest pieces that I wanted, and in order to do that, because apparently these are a specific one or it'll be all screwed up. I'm lining up the top of the shoulder with the arm and then letting the rest rest the rest rest. I'm laying the rest of the arm rest on the table itself as you can see so that way I've got the appropriate measurement for everybody. Um, let's see here. I also chose a not a non-detailed one uh, chess piece or whatever, but one that was relatively flat so that it doesn't get in the way of the gun, because um, that'll be that'll be pivotal. Um, as you guys can see, I've done the, we'll say the bulk of the grunt work already. Um, been working on it for hours actually. <clears throat> because each one of these uh, leg and base deals here the legs are two pieces so you have to actually do them you know put them all together and then of course I had to figure out you know what I was doing there and then you probably can't see over here but I've got all of the torsos put together and cut down um, hold on. yeah over there big pile of them so this is we're, what we're going to do is we're going to get the soul reaper cannons uh, hooked up on uh, torso and then we are going to figure out which set of legs we would like to use depending on how the gun lays across um, I found out with the occult terminators that it did not quite work out the way I was hoping with um, the stance, you know, the the brace stance legs or whatever. Uh, the way that the uh, Reaper assault cannon for them, or Reaper cannon, whatever, Soul Reaper cannon, um, the 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 arm that that went to it, it only went one way. So that was a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is and I was able to find a set of legs that I was happy with so that's really all that matters in the end alright man come on work with me here yeah so the bottom has to be flat and then the arms will be uh, as they should be <clears throat> But you definitely want to get the arm and the shoulder right there uh, lined up correctly. And then hold the bottom down and rotate the arm until it sits flat on the, on the table like that. Alright, I'm going to leave those guys alone. Um, I've already uh, done all the trimming and whatnot um, of all the guns and the heads I just need in I just need to do these arms here 
So we'll do that while this stuff is drying here. And uh, yeah. But we've made some really good progress today on these 70 Marines. For those of you new to the channel, if you're wondering if you've been looking at, you know, the bulk of the armies that I have put together and you're like, man, this dude's got a ton of infantry. That's because, again, in my mind, in all the fiction that I've read and everything that I came to love and know about Warhammer 40,000, and you know, and Warhammer 30,000, is troops. You know, thousands upon thousands of troops throwing down. Not just tanks and things like that. Um, I mean, if you think about it, you know, yeah, you have stories of superhuman feats, from superhuman space marines but you know there were still you know hundreds upon thousands of marines or whatever in various you know as well as guard and everybody else um in various skirmishes whether it be with tyranids orcs you know whatever okay we'll just go on over here with the rest of these I'm just going to give this a, a minute to chill. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and um, Twitter and YouTube and Discord. Discord is free, of course. Feel like might be ready with this one. So I'm gonna do a dry fit here real quick, just to make sure, because it may have to sit in there a little wonky instead of flush like I'd like it to be. Okay, maybe we lucked out. Sometimes these don't really go down the way they're supposed to. Gonna be a lot of holding and eyeballing because I need the gun level and firm in the hand. So hoping I've got that angle right so the gun is level this way and not up or down. Down really wouldn't matter too much because it would kind of look like the guy was bringing the gun to bear but up in the air I just don't I don't dig that at all. Yeah see now see how this is twisted right now that's that's not how see how that's twisted from the body that's not how that's supposed to be. So you gotta, I gotta twist it in. I'll take a look at that again. Yeah, now, now the gun and well, still need to twist it a little bit more. Gun in the shoulders, top of the gun and the shoulders are lined up like they should be. Otherwise, your gun's gonna be turned the wrong way. So essentially that's what we're looking for. And keep an eye on that. Still 
slightly turned. So let's hold that. Basically, if you look at the neckline here and the top of the gun, that will help. Okay. Then I'm going to set that down gently. Gently! And hope that we don't lose our progress. Worst case. It's really not held on by a whole lot. We can adjust it and fix it, but I don't want to do, be doing that all night, obviously. But these guys are going to be the um, roughest, I think, to put together. And then, of course, like I said, I want to make sure I get the right l set of legs that I want for all seven of these guys. This plastic is like, I don't know, it's so super slippery. Take a look. Yeah, it looks pretty good for the most part. Can rotate it down just a hair. There we go. guys over here so I can make room for these other guns. Come on, Cletus. Don't mess with me. That looks pretty good. This stream is sponsored by Raid Shadow. I'm just kidding. It's not. It's been. It's like every video I watch. That's what I see. And I don't know if it's because I play the game or what.
one. Good to go. Let those cure for a little bit. Oh. Oh. Timber, knock it off. something too um, now mind you this is an older box probably doesn't even matter but just because I'm constantly you know looking at art and stuff there's a couple things in this Land Raider box that I'm using to point out you notice anything crazy about that Land Raider right there that one you notice how the door is on backwards glued on backwards <laughs> uh, the, the, the ramp itself is facing out and then if you shift over here take a look at this paint job on these hazard stripes does that look like heavy metal to you not not even close I mean, look, look at the hazard stripes on the whole thing. The gun, I mean, the combi flamer, all of it. Crazy. Hell, could have at least put some tape down, right? I'm just picking. Alright, let's see. What got going on here? Alright, so. Let's. Oh, did I? Oh, man, it wasn't glued. Damn. See? Told you. I told you. I put too much pressure on it and popped it right off of there. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. I'm just a doctor. sit a little longer because clearly that's a sensitive joint so the options I'm looking at are this walking legs here walking set of legs with the right leg behind since the gun will be you know uh, sitting right in that pocket but what I was really looking at was something in the line of this so that they could be you know the gun could be pointed and he, again he's in a stance now if I look at the instruction manual it's showing actually the one that I was talking about walking forward huh okay well that works for me oh wait but he's walking forward Okay, they did turn turn his head. Okay. Alright, well, then I guess that solves that. We just got to get the angle of the turn correct. But before I can do that, I'm just going to go ahead and grab all these and set them out. I've got to put their little tabard on. Should have seven of these dudes. One more 
somewhere. Is that the same one? No, nope, these are all different. I just have a different uh, thing on the leg. Okay, well, let me get rid of these guys and let's see if we can match them all up. Okay, there's one. Okay, there's six. We need one more. Where are you? Nope. 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 There you are. Found you. Alright, so now I've got to get their little tabards. Loincloths, if you will. So, let's see here. And apparently, there's a specific one for this guy. Otherwise, you run the risk of it not fitting. So, supposedly. Okay, maybe not. I was looking at it wrong. No, there is a single one. But it looks like it's all these right here. So, don't think that's an issue. I think they might all be the same. No, they're not all the same. Son of a bitch. Let's see here. Run out of room with all the stuff for this army. Let me see what we got going on here. Team A, Team B. Um, try some of column A, try some of column B. Alright, so they're saying number 40. Or 43. We'll go with 43. Alright. Uh, Clippers, where did I put them? This always seems to happen at the worst time. Alright. 43. Right. The exact one I was looking at. One. Three, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Seven. All right, that puts those back together. So let's take care of this real quick.
Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. set. I'd like to think these are, but I'm not ready yet to throw those on. But I am curious how it's going to sit. Okay, so if I just turn it more that way, it'll look, okay, it'll look how I want it. the point that I can. Whoops. And make sure that the gun is level with the base. sure this goes under here like this. That might present a small issue. I was afraid of that. That's the only problem with this stuff, is trying to get things level. And I mean, you can let some of it go, or let it slide, um, because of the shoulder pads. But I'm really not trying to do that right now. to just line up like it should but I might be asking for too much to be honest ah, of course that happened you son of a bitch well, at least it wasn't the one I was working on So new game plan, since the arms don't exactly line up like they should. I don't know who puts these instruction manuals together. They never seem to work out like they should, in my opinion. 
That's okay. I got a plan. Tuck that in right there. Just slightly. Give me this for confirmation. Relatively level. The gun isn't though. There it goes. That's better. But it's not very good. It's not sitting on the arm correctly or in the arm correctly. There it goes. Alright, we'll leave that one alone. Get this shit out of the way. Slide this beast over here. Let's work on another one. This one might actually be like it's supposed to. Looks pretty good. Good to go. This one's similar to the first one. I think we're just going to roll with it. Let the shoulder pad cover it up like it does.
Come on, man. Glue. Say we're missing an arm here. We got it. The ham and eggs coming at you. We got it. It's all right. What movie is that? Anchorman. when he's playing jazz flute in the club. Stepping on everybody's tables and breaking their glasses and stuff long before he was outcast and had to eat cat poo. That escalated quickly. It really got out of hand. Brick killed a guy. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Everything is in my way. Tonight, now, why is that not hooking up on the tap? Okay, there it goes. I guess I had him leaning too far back. Gun needs to be relatively level to the ground. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Oh, all right. Got time to duck. that one sit for a second. those two sit. Water. Got to have water. What we'll do next after these guys will knock out the uh, whatever the hell is called. Hold on, let me see. Like the Spiring Sorcerer or some shit. Yeah, Spiring Sorcerer. We'll get them, get those knocked out and get them all out of the way. And then that'll give us a little bit more room. That'll be 14 out of 70 out of the way. And it'll be the bulk of the marines that have all of the extra little gizmos and gadgets
right, let's take a look at what other parts they're supposed to have. Well, it doesn't really make any sense. I hate the way these instructions are. Alright, so if I just look at the one he's got here, it's the roundish one. Alright, we'll do with that. We'll go with number 8 on all these. I wasn't sure if it was going to have some kind of, you know, like specific backpack but I guess not Two, three, four, five, six. We're missing one. Somebody's missing here. It's not in this pile. Oh, there it is. Maybe. Two, three, four, five. No, I'm sorry, I'm missing two. I miscounted. All right, so there's all the backpacks and random weapons and shit. I'll go over there. Let's get these cleaned up. light down a little further. Just trying to knock some of this out while that stuff dries or cures because I need to get it to do that. light because it's not working.
So thank you to whoever's watching right now. Appreciate you coming in. Feel free to say hi or strike up a conversation. Joker O Jim. I'm just making some metal grid bases for my Iron Hands Immortal Squad and Gorgon Terminators. Huh, right on. I'm just trying not to look at all these <laughs> and think about my lack of progress. Put how many armies together now? I don't even remember. Joker O Jim, is this the last batch of Thousand Sons? Uh, except for six exalted sorcerers and airmen. This will be it. Iron Bugbear. Thousand Sons are my main 40k faction. I have the old Stark collecting box sadly still unassembled. I understand and feel your pain there, Bugbear. These guys have been sitting around. I, I don't even know how long. Forever. But I am putting every model I have together. So that I can at least play with them at a minimum. And then once I have everything together, I will start painting. And when I say every model, I don't mean this army. If you're not familiar with the channel, go back go, go to YouTube and watch. What's in the old start collecting box? Bear? Um Go to my first video on YouTube and you will see the insanity that is my, what some would call a pile of shame, but it's way more than that. definitely helps to be ambidextrous, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, everything I do, I do with both hands. It's crazy. Alright, we're almost done with these Iron guys. Iron Bugbear. A. Ryman, Rubric Marines, and Zongors. Yeah. So we need some shoulder pads for these weirdos. And I don't know if there's supposed to be a specific one. Or if it really even matters. I don't think it does. I mean, if 
if I wanted to get technical, I could look at this the tiny little design and figure, you know, look at which one I want. The little design at the bottom here is a couple of scarabs and some eyes and things like Joker that. Joker Jim. I don't know if I care. Ah, cool. I want to get Zongor someday. I only have, like... 16 Zongors or whatever. I'm not even sure they're even worth it. And the reason I have 16 is 6 came in that, um, what was that, uh, set? Oh, um, Silver Tower. Just cutting off uh, shoulder pads here while I wait for this stuff to cure. And then these guys will throw the shoulder pads on the backpacks, and they're done. My goal is to have these dudes. This, this 70 done by tomorrow. I know I won't get them done tonight, but I'll get a good start. I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll be up for it. It's only 11. Depends on how fast I can go. I guess it also depends on if my kids wake up. <laughs> like I just heard one. Iron Bugbear. Are you going to to go with a classic blue color scheme? I, you know, I was thinking I would, but I'm not. I don't know. I kind of was thinking rolling with their old 40 or 30k scheme or something else. What were you thinking? Okay. Iron Bugbear. A red like Magnus. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. The only problem is to do Magnus's armor that way. That's a—I mean, he's just gonna look like a red blob. You know what I mean? I'd have to come up with something else. My little girl is teething. Seems to be at night anyway. And so that's got her a little sick and it's got my little boy a little sick. She's a little freaking she's definitely a little grot. You leave any food out and she will grab it. She is all about eating chow. the only food she doesn't like is green beans. Iron bugbear. Teething kids are hard. I feel for you. Yeah. Should be all right. I 
I know one thing with all these armies, I mean, I know that, you know, Black Templars and things like that, you know, are pretty set as far as colors go, but I'm going to really sit down and plan it out because I don't think they need to be just, you know, a specific, the specific tone, the way they have to. I think there can be better highlights and better complementing colors, and that's kind of my plan with the various armies, but we'll see. Tell you this, Thousand Sons Army here has broken me in again for dealing with models that uh, will need legs put together. Because so I'll have to do that, I think, with the Eldar. Um, I think. Maybe not. I can't remember. I know there's somebody else that I'm going to have to do this with. But that's what took the, the longest time, believe it or not, was putting all these legs together. Okay, I think we're ready to roll. Let's go ahead and let's get this. Joker or Jim, which Horus Heresy Legion do you think has the best model range on 4th E-World? Iron Bugbear. Agreed. I'd like to have a little of the founding chapter color in the paint scheme. Um, I, I would have to go with salamanders, honestly. I mean, I just... that. I know that sounds biased because they're like my favorite army, but... They're super cool. They got more detail, I think, than anyone. Everybody else kind of looks the same. One down, 69 to go. <laughs> hmm. Things that you would probably never hear again. Also Rich noticed. Smith slash hello all. How's it going? Rich, what do you play? What army? Joker Jim. Hi. Rich Smith, got a question? Has Warmer become woke? Well, 
if you're asking my opinion, I would say not necessarily. I there. Greetings. I would say that it's it's just, you know, people infiltrating it that way. And then, of course, the morons at Games Workshop that decided, I forget how long ago it was, to put out their little PSA trying to be woke that severely backfired. Um, but then, you, you know, you do have serious SJWs out there like Spiky Bits and those idiots. Um, you know... And I mean, to be honest with you, they may believe all that bullshit, but at the same time, I think they're grifting on it as well, and always have been. Um, that's my opinion. But it's kind of a contradiction, you know? I mean, how does a woke person even play this game and, and look themselves in the mirror? You want to talk about wars being bad? You want to talk about... You know, politics being bad. You want to, you want to talk about racism and blah blah blah. What the hell do you think this entire universe is? Doesn't mean you turn around and you know take the game and Rich Smith make it your life. I'm getting out of playing Magic: The Gathering after 20 years, and I'm looking to get into Warhammer. Rich Smith, that is music to my ears, my friend. Joker O Jim. Spiky Bits is SJW. Oh Cow. yeah. I don't go on that site very often. That that freaking fool Rob, that dude's definitely an SJW dude. And Bell of Lost Souls isn't much better. I haven't been on those sites in years because of their nonsense. But I would say, honestly, that the majority that you would run into, unless you're in a specific location like where I am, where I'm right next to two universities that, you know... Nobody's really playing 40k. They're all playing Magic uh, in D and D. Um, most of them are, you know, they're just they're just ignorant kids that are wrapped up in this woke nonsense. That's all it is. Um, but I mean, like, you can go play a game with these same people, and as long I mean, just don't even talk about this stuff. You know, I don't get into it. I mean, I haven't played in forever. And who knows when I'll get a chance to play other than, dare I say, and it's going to sound bad, play with myself. <laughs> but, you know, it's, um, you know, I've played with plenty of people I knew that were, you know, straight up SJWs, you know, whatever. I mean, the, the, from the clothes they're wearing to the crap they were saying before we started playing, I just didn't bother with it. just stuck to the game and, you know, went that route. I mean, there's, believe me, the amount of rules and everything else you got to deal with, and then people getting salty because they're losing, or they bought some meta army that that's in a you know the current grand tournament, and they're losing because they suck at being a general instead of trying to buy their win. Um, there's there's more things to worry about when you're playing than than that nonsense. <clears throat> and you can always find you know somebody that's you know not that way. I'll put it that way. All right, guys. Wow. 7 out of 70. So we have 60 left. And 7 more that are... have more details and things to them. So we'll get the... like I said, we'll get the aspiring sorcerers out of the... out of the way. And then we'll move on to... Uh, move on to... the regular dudes. I just gotta find their... Here we go. Oh, Jesus, man. I got caught up on my damn shit. But welcome. Joker Jim. I do like to talk about politics during a game, such as the palm oil industry destroying the forests and making Jokero an endangered species. That's different. I'm talking about the nonsense of, you know, everybody that's... Oh, wait a minute. Do I want that head or that head? Hmm. I'm talking about the nonsense of the left and the right, you know, and all that. Trying to demonize one another and stuff over the damn game. I mean, you know, and of course you got to pick your audience, too. I mean, if you've got somebody that's level-headed and can talk about that stuff without getting all butthurt, sure, roll with it, you know what I mean? 
but unfortunately that seems to be few and far and in between these days because everybody's looking for a reason to be you know all fucking upset and shit I think I'm gonna go with the, the full on uh, Rich yeah. Smith I don't care what people believe I just don't want that shit to take over the actual game like it did with magic yeah exactly I agree totally agree I always wanted to get into magic and never never really got into it or got a chance to get into it um, I just got the full all four commander decks of the magic the gathering warhammer cards um, and then I find out that Wizards of the Coast may be going out of business. I'm just like, what the hell, dude? So, I don't know. Um, and I've already had somebody say, oh, well, they'll be worth a lot of money. No, they'll only be worth a lot of money to somebody that wants them. It doesn't, you know, things just don't happen that way. Okay, what's going on here? Hmm. I'm thinking this one looks too devoted to chaos. I think I want something that's just more zinch. I mean, chaos undivided is what I meant to say. And then we need the hand, the arm and the hand. Iron bugbear. Wait, what the hell is that? Get woke. Go broke. For sure. Sixty-two, sixty-three. What the hell? Oh, really? You couldn't have just... Ah, okay, I get it. Man, this guy's got freaking super pieces everywhere. And I just dropped it. Well, and I mean, you know, it's amazing to me just how tolerant, and I'm being facetious here, these morons are. How hateful they are. And then when you, you know, they do something stupid and you strike back, now all of a sudden you're the bad guy. It's like, go fuck yourself. And I think that's a big part of the problem is no one's ever fucking told them to go fuck themselves. They never had their fucking teeth kicked in there's no accountability anymore oh okay I see this one's got an eye in his hand and that one doesn't hmm I'll go with the eye in the hand that's cool I mean, I've got a, I mean, and I mean this, I've got a really good friend of mine that is not a conservative. We, we met online gaming. He doesn't believe in God. He's an atheist, all this stuff. But he's like a brother. I mean, dude, we, you know, we've met and we've been in, you know, in touch and everything for what, seven years now? We met on Destiny. And, um, I mean, Dude, we have conversations all the time and it never devolves into arguing and bitching. But everybody's, you know, he's also a little bit older. And, what is he, like 10 years younger than I am. And, you know, most of these idiots are just fucking young idiots that they get, you know, just butthurt about everything. Alright. This is, look at this. This is all for one dude all these pieces right here that's crazy one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven pieces for one rich Smith. of these guys america is a wealthy country and people are bored so they find stuff to argue about absolutely and they're only bored because they don't want to put in rich the work Smith. no culture would argue about trans rights if it were in actual war his arm eh, whatever 
a thousand suns. Well, I don't want to see anybody discriminated against, but when you start talking about, you know, that a child, you know, the age of my children, one and a half, or even in the womb, that they are, that they're choosing their gender, you're fucking retarded. You're, you're fucking insane and you need to be locked the fuck up if that's how you really believe. And then when you want to advocate, you know, for these young children to make life altering decisions as far as their body goes, I mean like permanent decisions, no, you're, you're just, you're, you're, you're a fucking groomer, man. That's all it is. And I don't give a shit whose fucking feelings that hurts. I mean, look at California. Who the fuck in their right mind thought it was a great idea to take, you know, uh, rape of a, of a minor and make it a misdemeanor? Because you're fucking enabling this bullshit. But the problem is there's so much shit going on, all the important shit gets lost in the static. And unless you're a fucking news junkie, you... And I don't mean like... You speak the truth. With the regards to the game, I'm completely new. How is Warhammer 40k different than Sigmar? Um, well, first of all, it's science fiction. Um, and I'm not trying to be a jerk, and I just don't know if you knew that. Um, the, the, the armies are typically a lot larger, uh, depending on the game. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, the gameplay is different. Um, magic is not as prevalent. There, are, there is psychic, you know, abilities and things like that, but it's not as prevalent as in Age of Sigmar or Warhammer Fantasy, whatever you, you decide to do. Because I guess they're going to try to bring back the old world, which would be great for me because those are the armies I mostly have. It's fantasy armies, um, and the lore is. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know if you're into this, Rich, but the lore for 40k and 30k far, far in a way outweighs anything Age of Sigmar Fantasy has. Now, there's plenty of guys that argue that because they're purists and elitists, but the point is the cash cow for Games Workshop, Black Library, which does all, you know, mostly all the books and everything like that. Uh, the novels and stuff like that, and we're talking, you know, hundreds and hundreds of books. Uh, hell, probably thousands for all I know anymore. Um, the the lore is hands down like that's what that's what that's what has me in this game. It's not spending money on all this crack, you know, plastic crack and stuff. And you know, I mean, hell, like I said, I don't even get to play the game. But it's the lore, you know, it's the, it's sitting here Rich doing Smith. this and realizing That's cool. I'm part of it, you know, or I'm, I'm thinking about stuff I read, which reminds me, um, a really good book, and I'll never stop telling people this, and while I understand that Dan, Ab Dan Abnett's not exactly the nicest person in the world, I just found this out, which kind of bothers me a little bit, because he's like my favorite author when it comes to 40K, st or, you know, Warhammer stuff, um, Maybe he's got a little bit of an elitist attitude. The book Brothers of the Snake, which is about the Iron Snake Space Marines. I, I've, I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you I've read that book at least 20-something times. At least. It's just that good of a book. And now I have it on Audible where I can listen to it. I've listened to it at least six times. It's really good. Um, and it and it, and what's really good, especially for someone like yourself, Rich, that's new to the hobby, um, it will it will definitely like Joker break you in. My favorite lore is four zero K Gears of War and Metroid. Smiling oh face with sunglasses. Boy. Don't even get Rich me started Smith. on Metroid. I'm looking it up now. Don't even get me started on Metroid, dude. I was, I, you know, it's funny you said, I was literally just thinking this yesterday about, you know, like, when I was a kid, you know, playing Metroid and stuff like that, and how everybody was scrambling over the fucking codes, and, you know, um, 
things like that, uh, and I never did. I mapped everything out myself. I was too poor to have the Nintendo magazine or whatever the hell it was called. I think it was Nintendo Power or something like that. And, um, you know, I was lucky just to have the game. And I got the game used from somebody else. So, the, the, the three main games Iron I played... Fair. The 40K lore is the best. Also, the Night Lord's books are very good. Ah, uh, Night Lords are gay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I can't get into the Night Lords, dude. I really can't. I don't like the freaking wings on the helmets and all. It's, it's just dumb. If I was going to do a Night Lord's army, they damn sure wouldn't have no stupid vampire wings. And by the way, when I say gay, I don't mean gay like a gay person or homosexual. I hate having to retract shit. Iron Bugbear. Or I don't even mean retract, I mean like explain myself. But I mean honestly, who the fuck walks around with fucking target indicators on their head? But they're supposed to be the most, you know, one of the most stealthy, you know, groups out there next to the Raven Guard. Freaking weird. Iron Bugbear. The wings are kinda dumb. They got that shit in Spencer's in the mall, that's what happened. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Rich fun. Smith, you don't have to retract anything, man. I'm a kid of the '80s and '90s. Right on. Yeah. I was, well, and, and that's a, you know that's another thing. It's like I can't even tell you how many times I've said something is gay, and never once did it cross my mind that it had anything to do with the word homosexual or, or you know something like that. That's just how Iron stupid we've there. gotten. You know. Spencer's. How, Haha. <laughs> That's just how dumb everything has gotten. It really has, you know? Just absolutely stupid. And now you got people literally over this election getting attacked. I mean, you know, by the left. I'll tell you, man. It's probably. I Bridge would say. Smith. Yeah. As a kid, we played Smear the Queer. Rich <laughs> yeah. Smith. That would be a hate crime in today's world, haha. Most likely. Iron Bugbear. We are in clown world. <sighs> Dude, we're... I don't know what the fuck we're in. I don't even know if we can label it anymore. It's out of fucking control, I can tell you that. Joker o Jim. The wings do look bad on older sculpts, but they got better such as Savator. I don't know, it just doesn't... I don't know, I just can't take it serious. You look like Bugs Bunny in, in Power Armor. You know what I mean? And if you and the Bugs Bunny I'm talking about is the one where it's like a Halloween special where his, his ears became like bat wings. I'm not even joking. If, if you look it up, you'll see what I'm saying. You'll never unsee it. I'm telling you right now. You're going to be like, holy shit. You'll never unsee it. I knew you guys were going to get me talking and slowing down on my models here. Shut the hell up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is good, good engagement for sure. I think I did this out of order. Fuck. Gonna test my modeling skills for sure. Let's see. Rich Smith. It looks like you are doing good work there. Shit. I'm just winging it, dude. I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm surprised I can talk about this nonsense and keep straight what I'm trying to do in my head here. I 
think that's how it goes. I better check real quick. Hold on. Where's the damn thing? Iron bugbear. Don't worry this all in CNHS plan. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, Zinch's plan, you're not joking. Well, it's like every all of my chaos armies that I've put together, this being the last big one, um, I still got to put together the Fallen. Um, but I'm not going to lie, I've, I've sat there and been like, wow, this difficulty I'm having or that difficulty I'm having, this is definitely chaos gods messing with me right now. They're making me earn this. Making me earn this army. And then I say to myself, well, if I'm earning it, then maybe that means that they'll do well on the table. And then I laugh because I'm like, well, who the fuck are you even going to play with? So. Okay, why is this not finding the hole? Oh, because it's way up there. Holy shit. No wonder. Come on, it's like putting a damn sailboat together in a bottle. Which I've never done, by the way, but it is on the list of things to do. Of course, by the time I get to that point, I'll probably be too old and my hands will be shaking all over the place and I won't be able to see. And who knows? This hole is right here and I just cannot get the damn thing in there. I'm about to cut it off and just position it where I want it. Iron Bugbear. I am in the same boat. No one near me plays 40k. Well, I don't know. Do you play video games at all? Or have Steam? Finally, jeez. Now I gotta get the other side. <laughs> Definitely gonna not put the hands on next time. The reason I'm saying that is there's Tabletop Simulator, and I actually want to play some games with some of you guys if you're willing. 40k I have I mean they don't have to be massive games or anything and I have all the assets I think it would be fun iron bugbear come on yeah Xbox and Steam I mean you have a PC There we go. Jeez, man, that took forever. Oh, lesson learned. Yeah, tilt his head back just a hair. So it looks like he's actually putting forth some effort. Iron bugbear. Yes, sir. Right on, we'll have to f figure something out, get something going. I think this was on his waist. Uh, usually when I get one of these done, then I can just, you know, jump right into it and I know what's going on for the rest of them. I've never put these guys together before, so I'm learning as I go. Matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have his cape kind of billowing out some instead of just attached. Give it a little bit of space away from the legs so I can get, when it's time to paint, I can get a little more color. Add that 
there. Okay. Um, if you go on, let's see, yeah, you're on YouTube, uh, Bear, so if you go on YouTube and look at my older videos and maybe just type in tabletop or TTS, you'll see where I was either experimenting or whatever and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it before. Um, see if it piques your interest at all or whatever. I played a couple games with a good friend of mine uh, that doesn't live near me. Well, he lives about, I guess, an hour or so away, but he, he doesn't. Neither one of us have the ability to just go and see each other all the time. So that was, and he's he's not like a huge Warhammer fan or anything, but he enjoys playing it with me. I guess, spending some time together. Okay, man, come on. What are you doing to me here? I want more shoulder pad up front. Iron bugbear. Oh, bitch. Okay, I will check it out. So. Hold on. I like to move the shoulder pads on Marines more forward because if you don't, that gets lost behind the backpack and I don't like seeing all that you know under stuff if you will but you have to watch it because if you go too far forward like that just did then you have you run the risk of everything in the back showing as well so it looks like with this one there's not going to be a huge happy medium for me which kind of sucks because I want I want this shoulder pad to come up and over so I can actually paint something, not have it all hidden by shadows and whatnot. Alright, that's not too bad. I can roll with that. Glue under here so it doesn't get on everything else. Oh shit, where's his damn backpack? <laughs> I didn't grab his backpack. Alright, which one does he have? Um, Alright, it's got the little crazy zinch heads on it. And it's not on his sprue. So it's got to be on this sprue. Yep, there it is. Iron Bugbear. Props to you, good sir. I cannot put models together and paint them. I have to put them partially together and paint. Well, I mean, it, it really just depends on how you want to paint them. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have no delusions of grandeur that I'm going to be um, painting these guys to a you know, super detailed, you know, Stat, I mean, they're going to be really nice, but it's not like I'm entering a painting competition with them. I want them to be more grimdark, um, meaning, you know, rough and dark-ish, you know, not like shiny and bright. Um, I'm, not, I'm not looking to do that. I say that, and I'm going to turn around and probably do the exact damn opposite, but... Who knows? My my focus on these armies is going to be a lot of Zenithal highlight stuff um, and OSL or um, object source lighting, uh, mainly to draw the the attention to you know the faces and things like that. Like when I talked about more color on this guy, I'm not gonna like get all detailed inside you know and all that. It's still gonna be dark. And to be quite honest with you, um, 
I feel that while it might be a little bit more of a pain to paint them when they're put together like this, um, I think you run the risk, or at least I did early when I was doing this stuff, like early in my 40k career, you run the risk of not liking how it looks once you put everything together. And then you also run the risk of messing up your paint job when you go to put it together. Because I mean, you're still going to have to go back and, you know, and do some touch ups anyway for like, you know, where it's connecting and things like that, I guess. But, you know, each to their own. The goal is, like I tell everybody, it's not about how well I paint or you know anybody else paints it's what you're happy with that you did and that's really all that matters is that you look at your models on the table and you are happy with them if you try to you know look at your stuff and base it off of somebody else's that might in your mind have a better paint Iron job than you you're never going to be happy I take it you do mostly airbrush no um i i do airbrush now to um just to, you know because where I where we live now it's the weather is not really conducive to spray painting and stuff outside for base coats and things like that um, so I do all that you know inside and it's in it I get a better a better coating than the, the rattle cans anyway um, but I mean when it comes to details and stuff now there's no airbrush I'm not that good with it. It's basically just an extension of a, a rattle can for me. Now, I mean, if I want to tape off something, I could do that, you know. But no, I'm a brush guy. Normal brush guy. I've been in this hobby since 98, 3rd uh, edition, so I've come a long way and I remember all the frustrations that new people have today, that they haven't changed a bit, but what has changed is the stuff that's available to you to make your painting experience more enjoyable. Um, Iron Bugbear, me too. But, uh, like, I don't have a set. I have a couple that I've never even used of uh, the contrast paints. And I know that, that that is, like, apparently doing really well for people to get their stuff painted and enjoy it, you know, painted on the tabletop. All right, finally, we got one of those dudes done. Jeez. All right, well, now we know what we're looking for, so now we can just quickly cut this crap off and get rolling. I don't have to go searching for everything. Jokero Jim, what's your favorite dreadnought? Mm. That's a hard one. It's actually a pretty hard, hard one to answer. Um. Rich Smith, were you in the military? Yes, I'm retired. Marine Corps. United States Marine Corps. I 
what gave it away. Um, I'll tell you one dreadnought. Rich Smith, your matter-of-fact attitude and short hair. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Yeah. Normally I have a pretty big beard, but I've been keeping it off. Um. As far as dreadnought goes, I really, and I only have one of them. And it's not put together. I really like the. Dr you know the old style dreadnought that has the um well I guess I'm saying old style it's not old but it, it's it looks like it's got extra armor on and it's got these um, rock grinding arms or mining arms or something like that I really like that one Rich Smith, I think a lot of guys that have been in the military for a while have a sense of what life is actually like. Well, you wouldn't necessarily be wrong, but I would never say that because I know enough about life to know that everyone's life is different and I don't, and it's, you know, most people just say that and they don't really, they don't really have anything to base it off of. It's just what they've heard, what they say, and, you know, what they've heard other people say. And it's it's different, you know, when you've actually had time to really think about it. And when you do think about it, I mean, I still think about things. And um, I, I try to hold out hope that all these woke idiots are going to eventually wake up, you know, and realize they were freaking stupid. The problem is they're so damn entitled and fucking just, they're fucking kids, they're babies is what they are. They've never grown up, they've never been told no, um, you know, and I mean take a look at the universities that they go to Joker and stuff, Ocean. they're trying to stay Mine's there. Mine's the Contemptor Dreadnought, thanks to its great posability of the ball joint limbs. Right. But I mean, if you take a look at the, the fucking schools, you know, I mean, I don't know if you ever saw that video where the one girl's yelling at the teacher, you know, or the professor, like, you know, we're trying to build a home here. Hey, look, you dumb bitch. It's not your home. It's a temporary place for you to get a worthless degree in gender studies or some nonsense like that. It's not your home. You're not going to live there. You're going to have to go out into the real world. And they know this. That's the thing. See, everybody Rich likes Smith. to say they're stupid. They're not exactly. stupid. They're not this stupid. This is why I thought you were in the military. Well, like I said, they're not stupid. They know that they have to go do these things, and they're hoping that someone else is going to fix it for them and change everything for them so they don't have to deal with reality. And part of the reason I retired is because of the policies put in by Obama that we're trying to do the same thing. Here's one for you. When a message came down from Headquarters Marine Corps by way of Obama and the Pentagon telling all, 
all senior enlisted and officers to do whatever they could to convince junior enlisted combat veterans to get out so that the incoming officer cadre would not have to deal with the leadership challenge of being told this isn't how we do it sir tell me that's not fucked up If I'd have just, you know, so I got selected to be a warrant officer, Marine Gunner, which is like God in the Marine Corps, and Master Sergeant at the same time. And if I'd have just, you know, bit my tongue and didn't care about anything and just worried about my own career kind of thing, I'd probably still be in. But my principles and my integrity are more important to me. And coincidentally, if I'd have been in, I wouldn't have my wonderful wife and kids now. So there's always a trade-off, and I regret nothing. Especially... Rich Smith. Well, that's why a lot of these people want a nanny state. They can't deal with reality. Well, and yes, the military is a different issue. Well, a friend of mine quit the military over the VID shot. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. I would have. And we did not get, we did not get, uh, you know, we did not get that shot in our family. They just, they think everybody's stupid. And the problem with all these people that want a nanny state or, you know, socialism or whatever the fuck they think it is, they don't realize what actually comes with that. And, you know, it's always a talking point, even on the right, you know, oh, well, the left just says it wasn't done right. No, it's more than that. They're so fucking stupid in, th in this manner, not that they're all stupid because they're not. They're just, they're not, it's not even stupidity. I I'm using the wrong word. They're so... Uh, enamored and stubborn that's the word they cannot be wrong even when they are wrong and here's a perfect example there was this guy in Sweden okay freaking this is years ago um, back when the immigrant you know the refugees immigrants whatever you want to call them were first coming in there you know he's you know SJW freaking idiot or whatever and he brings him into his home well, they raped his ass, literally. What does he do? He turns around and says, oh, it's just their culture. Are you shitting me? That's, that's how, that's, that's the level of cognitive dissonance that exists with these idiots. And what they fail to realize is they're being used. And they're the worst at, at, you know, even, I mean, even understand, you know, or not even understanding. They're, they're the worst at uh, recognizing that they are. And, they, and even if they do, they can't be wrong because they can't give up their relationships, their, their girlfriends, their cucks, you know, whatever, all this other crap that these idiots are into. You know, they can't, you know, they cannot, um, they can't admit that they're wrong or move to the other side. Because, you know, then they're, they're worried they're going to be labeled. Dude, call me a fucking racist. Call me a Nazi. Call me whatever the fuck you... I don't give a shit what you call me. I don't give a fuck what comes out of your mouth. I know what I am and what I'm not. And then when you see my Hispanic wife and, you know, kids and stuff, then you're the one that looks like a fucking retard. <laughs> you know, oh God, you can't say the word retard. Oh, okay. Because it means what you're, th I'm saying it the way that you think it should, you know, it means that way. No, I'm not talking about mentally handicapped or challenged children or people. I'm talking about what the actual definition of retard is. Something that doesn't work right. Jesus. I don't even know how I got on all this. <laughs> it's your fault, Bear. The problem I see, though, is that the people on the right, and I'm not talking about the far right, like, 
white supremacist morons and shit like that. That they're just as fucking worthless. I just as soon shoot every one of them as well. But the the problem is the level headed on the right, the conservatives, and I'm gonna say it, they're fucking lazy. They don't fucking get out and vote. They take everything for fucking granted. And they live in their own fucking little bubbles as well. And think nothing's ever gonna be, you know, bad. And they're and they're and most of them are hypocrites as well. I mean I know this personally because of where I live, having to deal with, you know, my local government here that, you know, likes to claim they're conservative and blah blah blah. These models look difficult to build. Do they get easier in time? Oh, for sure, man. I mean, I've, like I said, I've never put these together before. This is, like, totally different. Now, if you just... I mean, depending on what army you want to get into, they may or may not be this complicated. Like, if you bought... Um, well, hold on, let me back up. The complicated part is going to be you building your army to the way that you want to play. Don't just... Like, you don't just, like, for instance, uh, I just laid it down. Anyway, if I had a Space Marine instruction booklet, now you don't have to do this, but, like, I know that, um, like, the, the, ter the Terminator Marines that belong to this army, they have a Soul Reaper cannon just like this, or similar to this, and then they also have a warp flint, uh, warp flamethrower or whatever the heck it's called so I barely put any magnet uh, uh, glue on this arm so I could pop it off so that I can insert a magnet a small magnet ne uh, I'm going I'm to butcher it Neo, Neo D can't even say it now anyway a small magnet into the shoulder and a small magnet into the arm so I can interchange the weapons you don't have to do that nonsense and the only reason that you would want to do something like that is if you thought you were going to be playing somebody that's going to care about what they call WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get. For me, it's not even about that. It's I like to see what it is. And I know as I, you know, so I've been blown up four times. I've got dramatic brain injury. And sometimes it's hard for me to remember some things if I'm not doing it all the time specifically. But I can look at it and then know, you know what I mean, or at least have a general idea. Um, so that's basically where I was going with that. So if you got like, you know, Space Marines or Tau or something like that, there might even be more limited options to the things that you would need to do when putting them together. These are just really detailed models for Thousand Suns. Um, I think this was Games Workshop's way of trying to impress everybody when they came out, and this was a new era of model compared to the old Chaos models, which were severely outdated and needed to be updated. I mean, things have really come a long way, to be honest with you. But I still have a lot of the old stuff. And don't, you know, I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but there's nothing wrong with buying used models on eBay if you want to, you know, get into the hobby and not, um, and you don't, don't worry about the paint jobs. You can easily strip that stuff off. Joker Jim, but where did this liberal agenda originate from? School? Media? Home? All of the above. Because while conservatives are sitting on their asses doing nothing or not wanting to believe or not wanting to ruin, you know, associations with some people, like what's going on in my county, got the school, school superintendent for the high school or all the schools here in the county. He's like, you know, I don't believe in this crap, blah, blah, blah. I was in the army, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, well, how about growing some fucking balls Rich Smith. and fucking do something about the it? Devil, ha -ha. You know? And he's like, well, you don't really understand. I'm like, bro, I understand. And you were in the army, what, four years? You don't fucking, you know, you don't get to use that shit on me. You barely fucking even had an understanding of the fucking branch you served in. 
It's just, you know, it's it's too many people worried about their Rich paycheck. Smith. What state are you in? I'm in Virginia. The one where everybody constantly touts how uh, fucking uh, Governor Yunkin, you know, got in and won and, you know, we turned the state and blah, blah. No, he barely fucking won. And a perfect example would be this. Hold on. Oh, I got it. We have 6,600,000 registered voters in this state. Barely a little over 3 million showed up to vote for the governor's election. And he only won by 50-something thousand votes. Barely got in there. And you know the left was voting, but not the right. They sit on their fucking asses every time. Or, the worst part is, they'll only vote in presidential elections. Especially not local stuff. And if you're not aware of this, for any of you that are younger, your local elections are the most important things you should be voting in. You should vote in every election. I mean, I hate to say it this way, and I don't mean to be a grumpy Marine or anything, but you owe it to people who served and died. That's what they literally fought for. But... Your local elections are what actually affect your lives. The presidential election, eh, you know, to a point, not much. Gubernatorial elections, like your governor, you know, your governor and stuff like that, again, Rich Smith. not so much. Yeah. But people don't vote in local elections, and then they wonder why their taxes are so high and everything else. The president of the United States is not going to fix that. The governor is not going to fix that in your county or city or town. That's your local leaders. And if you think they're not as corrupt as the freaking politicians in D.C., you're fucking high. I'll bore you guys to death with the shit that goes on here. And the shit we fucking dealt with here. I won, but that's beside the point. It should have never happened in the first damn place. I don't even call these people Americans. They're just fucking garbage people. And I've told them that to their face. I told the Commonwealth attorney that. Dude, Joker over, over Second Votes Amendment are democratically shit. counted at smirking face. Yeah. Fucking the Commonwealth attorney here tried to tell me in a hallway, just me and him, how he was on my side and believed me, you know, he was with me when it came to Second Amendment issues. I looked him dead in the eye and I said, no, you're not. You're not with me. And he goes, how can you say that? I said, because you're, you don't have the balls to stand up like I am and tell people. You'll sit here and talk to me in a hallway where it's just the two of us, but you won't stand up in front of the fucking room like I did. And I told him, I was like, I got no fucking use for you, dude. You guys got me all fucking animated tonight. <laughs> oh shit. I don't even know if I've been this animated. I know normally I sound like a fucking just some kind of Joker O Jim. Guns laws are so strict here. All handguns got banned recently. Where? Canada? Iron bugbear. Sorry. Talking about in Canada? Joker Road Gym. Yep. Canada. Yeah, I keep up on all that stuff. Yeah, you guys don't really have a... Unfortunately, you don't really have a, uh, a good government. It starts when Rich they went Smith. after the truckers. Canada is screwed, man. Yep. Trudeau's a fucking loser. The world will be a better place if that dude ever fucking kicks a bucket. Absolute poser. Complete hypocrite. But, you got just as many liberals there as you do here in the United States. All keeping that motherfucker in charge. Joker Road Jim. The highest round capacity is five now.
Well, Rich you know, Smith. You know the saying. You speak the truth. You know the saying, better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. And that's exactly how I feel about it. I own a gun range. I teach people tactical training, concealed carry permits, all that stuff. And I tell people all the time, the government, even even that sheriff's deputy or whoever that you've known your whole life that you drink beer with on Friday, hangs out at your house and everybody like that, none of them are your friends when you have a shooting incident. And you better you better wake up to that fact. Son of a bitch. I really don't like this little pin in here or whatever. Having to put this in the hole. I really just want to cut it off. And, but I'm afraid that if I do, I just won't line it up. Joker correctly. or Jim. My options are SKS or a Mini 14. bugbear mini 14 yeah I was just gonna say that rich Smith what's the best way to buy used builds eBay uh, right now yeah uh, where are you at rich what state or are you in the United States I'm assuming you are Rich Smith, Georgia. Okay, so you should have Dollar Tree and Dollar General and stuff like that down there. Um, Dollar Tree sells, because that's what we have here. Um, my mom actually lives in Georgia, Statesboro. Um, Dollar Tree carries, and maybe Dollar General too, I'm not sure. Um, but they carry what's Joker called... Joker Jim. I'll have to look into getting a firearm is a lot harder here for sure um, LA is totally awesome okay it's a it's a cleaner it's yellow it doesn't smell um, well there's a little bit of a smell it's like Windex smell it's not you know like a wafting you know give you a headache smell um, I don't have a bottle out here I think they're all downstairs Anyway, if you look up, LA is totally awesome. Um, that is, and I've done everything, man, for stripping minis. I've tried simple green, purple power, brake fluid, um, you name it. And that stuff is by far the best stuff there is. On top of that, if you can get yourself a sonic cleaner, and I don't mean like the little tiny one, you know, you put your rings in, like a couple hundred dollar one, it, it, it'll last you forever and you could use it for all kinds of things. Um... It's one of the best investments I ever made. I also got that on eBay, and um, it will it will basically remove all the paint to a point. I mean, if it's a metal model, you can get just about everything off. If it's a plastic model, most of it will come off. You'll still need to do a little bit of, of uh, brushing with either you know the metal or the plastic ones, but it'll, it might stain the plastic. But it doesn't matter once you reprime it. And it doesn't matter how Iron much paint bear. is on it. You just keep Agreed. You know, doing it. That stuff is L.A. awesome. Yep. It's really awesome. And here's the, here's the other thing. If you're worried, like, let's just say that you don't have the ability to have a sonic cleaner. Get yourself a mason jar. Throw your fucking models in there. Pour in L.A. is totally awesome. Dude, I have left models in there for, like, four or five months. Nothing happens to them. Plastic, metal, doesn't matter. It doesn't eat away anything but the paint. If 
I'd have known I had to put these little thigh pads on here, I would have done it before I put the Rich Smith. damn chest piece Good on. Good advice. Well, and it'll be here. If you ever forget, you can come back to this video and listen to my rambling. <laughs> be like, that dude is literally a fucking angry badger. I knew this was going to be a pain in my Rich ass. Rich Smith. Will do. Ha ha. <sighs> Rich Smith. I got to head out. Good All right, chatting, Rich. guys. Yeah, man. Good to meet you. Oh, my gosh. Come on, man. Iron Bugbear by Rich. Guess we'll see if my uh, my subscriber count goes down after all this SJW suck nonsense on her. <laughs> I don't care. That's the other problem is too many people care what other people think to their own detriment. That one went relatively smoothly. Oh shit. I knew I forgot to do something. Put his centerpiece on. Iron bugbear. Gotta love them thousand suns extra bits. I know, man. the thigh plates here. I forgot to put this on. And, uh, I did not want to have to do this. being a real pickle if I didn't know how to fix things. Yeah, it looks like the way that I turn the, um, to get my more dynamic pose, it's just not working without me cutting these 
keys off to get the, the loincloth to fit the way it needs to. It's alright. It still works. Iron bugbear. Been there. Had to take models apart and reassemble. Yeah, it happens. Hell, I mean, some of the stuff I bought off. Of Hi. What's up, Riza? Um, some of the stuff I've bought off of eBay as of late, like these two Land Raiders that were in a different. Actually, I don't know if I did a video. Maybe it was a short or something like that. I can't remember, but um. Those had to be broken apart. RIZZA four six nine one one one. You doing warmer commissions? Not right now. This is all my stuff. <laughs> Everything on my channel, um, from the time I started, mostly on YouTube, it's all my stuff. Thousands of models. Nikki Wonka. Hey, is the Adeptus Custodes a good army to start with? I want to get into Warmer and I really like the Christmas box. It is. Um, as a matter of fact, that Christmas box set, um, if you just went with just what it has, that's about 1,300 points. And I think you would have the ability, if you just bought like a another set of Custodes, like just a, a squad box set, you know, type. Um, you could actually make some of those guys into uh, special characters and that would up your points as well as your lethality on the table for sure. Um, yeah, it's definitely not bad. Nikki Wonka. Roger, thank you for the answer. No problem, man. Smiley face. Especially those bikes. Those bikes are badass. I don't have any, but I just got all troops and sisters of silence and a venerable land raider. But those bikes are pretty awesome. The jet bikes, I mean. I'll get some eventually. I just don't feel like building that army all the way up. Oh! If you're still around, if you happen to buy a Land Raider or Rhinos or whatever, you're going to have enough spare parts in there that you could decorate that as well. Because I actually did that on one of my videos on YouTube. And it's it's pretty good. Uh, it looks pretty good. I think you're good. Okay, you're good. We got three guys that need their thigh plates. Let's make sure we got them all. One, I think we do. One, two. Okay, maybe we don't. Did we stop cutting or something? Nope. We 
you sure didn't cut them off. Iron bugbear. It looks like a sea of legs. <laughs> it is. Um there's if you take these uh, seven out of here and those seven um, 14 minus 70 what's that it's too late for me to do math or 70 minus 14 I mean to say what's that 56 I think Yeah, 56, I believe. 56 legs over here that need bodies and stuff. Seventy rubric marines when I'm done. Iron bugbear. You have to do groups of nine, because cinch. <laughs> well, I can't do that. But if we add the two five-man Terminator squads, well, no, that's still technically eighty. Oh well, Zinch will just have to get over it. I have to get over it like the little girl that beat his maze. We'll be smooth sailing once we get these stupid thigh pads on here. Last one here, thank goodness. Thankfully he's the only guy I gotta worry about doing that with that I'm aware of. Everybody else should just be a one piece deal. You guys aren't going to believe the song that's in my head, man. Because I can't, I don't have anything on right now. I, I mean, I can't, you know, you guys are hearing music, but I can't hear it. Um, it's the theme song from The Greatest American Hero. Because YouTube has those on, uh, like, all the episodes. It's hilarious. And I saw it today. I haven't seen that since I don't even know when. difficult stuff is out of the way for this guy thank goodness 
Now I just put stuff together and be cruising along. Guess if I ever buy another set of Rubric Marines, which I doubt. Iron bugbear. I don't know. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so free. Flying away on a wing and a prayer. Who could it be? Believe it or not, it's just me. I actually had never seen the very first one. So I didn't really, you know, as a kid, I didn't really understand, like, what was going on. But after watching the very first episode today, I understood. I mean, it all made sense. Now, the lead-up to everything was kind of weird. But I guess he had to have some kind of backstory as a teacher. This guy's been sitting out here for a while, so he's probably the one we want to work on first. Trying to make sure that little cape is billowing out. Or not. Too quiet in here.
What else are we talking about? Not SJWs. <laughs> or wokeness. Iron Bugbear, what else do you plan to add to your Thousand Sons? Well, they already have a Land Raider, um, Lord of Change, but he's built like uh, Fate Weaver, which is probably who I'll run anyway. I just wanted the two heads and then I put an extra arm on him and stuff. We've got Magnus, we've got a Demon Prince, Princess, not safe for work. <laughs> Um, the 10 uh, Terminators, 16 Zangors, we've got pink whores that are on the way because I needed more, blue whores, I don't know what the, I can't remember what these other guys are called, they came out of the Silver Tower box set, but we got some of them, and then... We have a Sorcerer Lord in Terminator armor. So, oh, and then Araman and six, uh, six um, Exalted Sorcerers. Now, that being said, I've got two Soul Grinders that I want to paint in such a way and add something to them so that I can just magnetize it to them so it makes them blend in with any of those armies. Even though my Death Guard don't need to soul grind, they've got two basically that are done up like scorpions. I have a video on YouTube you can see. It's a while ago though. Um, just look up Death Guard stuff. And um, I don't think I'm going. I mean, I only have one Chaos Knight, and that was going to go with uh, my Iron Warriors. But I've got 15 more Imperial Knights to put together, and I thought about possibly converting one to give to this army, but I really don't need to with Magnus. Oh, and Bellicor. So Magnus, Bellicor, Fate Weaver, and a Demon Prince. There's probably no reason to do anything else. At least that's what I'm thinking. I don't even know anybody that would play with, play with me if I brought half of those I'll be stuck playing by myself just to see what happens, which is fine. Okay. Finally feel like we're at the end of these guys, because these guys will be so much simpler than they, these, these two dudes. Iron Bugbear. Those are some heavy hitters. That's what I hear. I've never played with them, so I don't know. I literally just put them together, you know, over the last week.
and I and to be honest with you, I only I didn't get them necessarily to play with. I got them because I just wanted the model. I thought it was a cool model, like Magnus. I don't think he's a cool model at all. Actually, I don't really particularly like him, um, but I want I wanted all the Primarchs as they were, you know, just because. I wish that Games Workshop would release all the Primarchs uh, from 30k in plastic, but they're all resin still. I don't, I don't want to buy it, especially 100 and 115 to 130 bucks a piece. I'll pass. Whoa! Thought you were glued on there. Iron Bugbear. I thought Bellacora was a Kern Demon. Nope. Uh, Bellacor is, uh, he's his own demon. <laughs> he doesn't really answer to anyone. And my understanding is he's the most powerful demon. He's just favored by all of the Chaos Gods. And he looks more Cornish. Like if, if that's the way to describe him. He's a Cornish ham. I, I didn't purchase all my armies like... I'm not a... A meta chaser and I'm not a a tournament guy. I'm I'm a lore dude and fluff guy. Iron and Bugbear. That's how I wanna play. Uh, I see. Guys, chill for a second. Kind of didn't realize how tall their staves were. I'm wondering if they're gonna fit on that shelf. Iron bugbear. Yeah, I get that. I like the lore as well. Yeah, I mean, when I start doing battle reports again, because I only did one way back when. I want it to be narrative driven, legit story, you know, as to what's going on, why they're even fighting in the first damn place. And, you know, I mean, obviously I'll be the only one playing both sides, but, it, you know, I'll, I'll cut it, you know, unless it's a live game or something like that. I, I just want to see what happens, you know, I mean, I, I play chess against myself, if that tells you anything. So, if you can be honest with yourself in a game like that, you know, you can have a lot of fun. Just trying to beat yourself. Not many people can play themselves though for some reason. I don't understand why it's so hard. I'm not saying that to be a jerk, I'm just I don't I don't get it. I guess if you go into the game objectively and say I just you know, I wanna you know, look at it like a movie or something, you know. I mean, yeah, if I saw my salamanders fighting iron warriors or fighting anybody, yeah, I would want them to win. But I know that in the forty K universe that's not how things typically are. It's not, you know, good guys save the day every time. Matter of fact, hardly ever. And if they do, it's at extreme 
you know, cost. And that's what I, you know, what I guess what I enjoy the most is the the desperate nature of everything. And I don't know, I've never used psychic powers before, so I'll be, this is one of the armies I'm interested in trying to figure out. But then again, I don't, I'm not sure that it's, I'm not sure how some of this stuff works, because like, they say like, you know, every Grey Knight's a Psyker, but I guess for some reason, you, every Grey Knight doesn't get to use a psychic power. It's just a unit, so that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Which in my mind makes them as weak as they are when they're supposed to be like super strong and you should just in my mind you should just up the points on them and they'll be a smaller force and when I play them when I play with them that's exactly what's gonna happen gonna make up my own rules damn it Sorry, I'm just trimming off the stuff off the shoulder pads while this dries or cures. Broke out my Horus Heresy board game today. I've never played it. Confirmed that I had all the pieces. They were all in the Ziploc bags there. Originally confirmed I had all the pieces way back when years ago or a year ago or however long it was. I have two copies of the game. It's the Assault on Terra. And I'm going to try to attempt to to leave one of the boards completely together. I'm just going to hang it on the wall so it looks like a, a 3D map, but also where I can take it down and play with it and not have to set it up every time. Um, and I may do it with the other one just to make the game even larger, you know? If it's possible, I've never played it, so I don't know if that if that would break the game or not. And I'm about to buy two copies of the Warhammer 40,000 Risk game. I know it isn't really anything high speed; it's just Risk, but I like maps and things like that. So, and anything to do really with Warhammer. Iron Bugbear. I have to get up at the crack of dawn. Good night, all. All Good right, brother. Stream. Great you to meet you. Got a new subscriber. Appreciate it. Great to meet you. I'm really impressed by these models though, regardless of how much of a pain in the ass they were to put together. It was definitely worth the wait. I wanted these models for so long, years ago, and then I got them and then I just never, never put them together. I really didn't have time. Time was always the factor for me. Alright, let 
them sit. And then all we've got is technically five more pieces to put on them. And these guys are done. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, um, none of these, all these guys, rather, every model I put together, it's only glued on one foot. Like, you can literally see how that comes apart. And the reason for that is so I can snap it off when I go to do the bases because I like to do good bases and everything like that or elaborate bases. Um, so I'm not trying to, you know, just throw them down. These guys will most likely end up with some kind of uh, temple tile type base or maybe granite or something like that is, is what I'm kind of thinking I want to go for. Um, I'm strongly considering painting them in the colors of 30k. I really am. I don't know. Don't know. I'm not a big fan of the color red. That's the only problem. I just don't like it. And then I got blood angels and <laughs> friggin. Who else? Black Templars will have red, and Dark Angels will have red. And I'm trying to think. I don't know. Like this red right here, I don't like. But if it's a darker red like that, that's not too bad. Almost maroon. hands on These guys are really neat looking. We've also come a super long way with assembling all of my models. Thousands, man. Thousands. And yes, I still have thousands to go. <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating. Again, if you're new to the channel, especially on, or on YouTube, you can check out my very first video and you will see exactly what I mean. Shoulder pads, backpacks, heads, that's it. But now I've got to sort out the shoulder pads because there's one in particular that's going to be on the left hand side. And I'm pretty sure it's the one with the eye. Well, they both have eyes. What the hell? Hmm. I 
guess I somehow missed that. Oh, I guess they're both the same. Well, that makes things easier. Maybe I already knew that. Maybe it's just so late I forgot. Or I'm old. Let's go with old. That's probably probably the honest part of it. French Tustic. Hello everyone. How's it going, French? French-tastic, I like that. That's pretty cool. You play Warhammer? Or Collect? French-tastic. I do. What's your army? French-tastic. You... Or try. Oh, hell, we're all trying. <laughs> Some of us more than others because we don't have anybody to play with. So we're stuck just collecting, painting, and putting together backlogs. My backlogs are years. This being one of them, Thousand Suns. French Tustique. Demons is my main army. Which one? Or just like collectively between all four Chaos Gods? French Tustique. Correct all but Nurgle. Oh, you don't like Nurgle? He's like my main guy. <laughs> I got massive Death Guard army. I don't know why, I just really like the Death Guard. I think my fan behind me is drying everything quicker than I want it to. That's okay. French Tustique. I mean I'm not close to Nurgle, just hey pen that I don't own any. Oh, uh, okay. I'm tracking.
I think I have them all because of my OCD. I'm OCD for Warhammer. Complete plastic crack addict. Have been for decades now. French Tustique. There is worst addictions. This is true. You are not wrong, sir. thought I pushed that head a little too far. I think I put the backpacks on first last time. Can't remember. Maybe not. Maybe I left that little bit of gap for a reason. French Tustique. My recent purchase of figurine would say I'm right there with you. Yeah. <laughs> Probably all of us, dude. I mean, I am the one person that needs to never buy anything again. And somehow, I just find a way. Joker or Jim. Applying paint and primer on cork is annoying. Oh yeah. Well, do you have Mod Podge, dude? Or some kind of PVA glue? Put that on first. Put that on, let it dry, and then you can paint it, you know, no problem. Of course, you're probably like, oh, something that should have been told to me yesterday! Joker O Jim. Thanks for the tip. I'll have to try that. Yeah, man. Just just think of anything that's porous. Um, you know, whether it's cork cork board, uh, MDF, um, you know, foam insulation, any of that kind of stuff. You need to you need to seal it first. PVA glue, Elmer's glue, Mod Podge, it's all relatively cheap. And, you, and you, oh, and you don't, here's the, here's the other thing, you don't have to do it straight out of the bottle, you can water it down, you know, and do that, and it'll do the same, that way you don't use as much.
have it, guys. These guys are all done. Thank goodness. Now we only have 64 more Marines to go. But not tonight. <laughs> it's 1 o'clock in the morning. So, for all you guys that are new, thank you so much. It was really fun tonight. Um, and like I always do, if I'm going to be on, uh, I'll, you know, do a thing that gets shot out to you guys, usually anywhere from an hour to four hours beforehand or something like that, just because I don't really know what's going on. I try to be on every night if I can, but not always. Um, also, check me out on Discord, Angry Badger Minis, and, um, you know, you can chat there as well. And I also post that I'm going to, you know, when I'm going online there as well. So, um, other than that, also I encourage all of you new people to check out my very first video so you understand what this journey is all about. And uh, with that, we'll see you guys all next time. So, take care.